I can uh, only get away with <laughs> that because no, there's nobody here. I know I've been uh, MIA for a while, but I've um, been busy working and playing in my office. Ooh. I know I owe you guys an explanation a little bit as to, you know, like what I've been up to and where I've been and like whatever. If you follow me on Instagram, you, you might know a little bit about what's been going on, but probably not much. I haven't shared much in the last, I've been just kind of MIA. If you really wanna know, I'm full of self-doubt. And to be honest, it has never brought me down. No, 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 no. I'm really glad I'm not walking around. Florida. I, we, we all, we all moved back to Florida. We actually moved back to Florida a long time ago, like last June. Last time you and I talked, it was May of 2020. So much has changed. I mean, last year was nuts. The pandemic threw everyone for a curveball for sure, including us. We had ups and downs last year, definitely some scary moments, but thankfully everything turned out just fine for us. There were a lot of really good reasons that we moved back to Florida, but it really came down to this. We just really missed it here. Being in the mountains was great, living in Utah was nice and all, but it took two winters for us to figure out one thing that we really, really didn't like. Turns out we just, we hate the cold. And we really just miss Florida's endless summers. Like So I figured a really good way to start back this whole comeback thing was to do a Q&A, AMA, questions and answers segment. So I have a number of stories that I wanna tell from like trips that I've done in the past year um, that I've kind of filmed. I, we'll, we'll get to that. So the first question is Kevin, Lifestyle Overland. He says, how's the finger? Funny enough, you can still see the scar just, just a little bit right there. That is the plan. Oh, 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 geez, I'm sorry, dude. Do you remember when I <laughs> we broke my finger on Anza Borrego trip? Kevin, we ought to we ought to do Anza Borrego again. Like, just like kind of duplicate that exact trip. I have another question here. Said Turtleback Trailer question mark? Um, I'm not sure what you're asking. Turtleback Trailer's been gone for a long time. Actually, Corey, Overland Dad, bought it, and he has also sold it since. I think. Pretty sure. Also, interesting side note, Corey sold his Land Cruiser. You know Overland Dad, the white Land Cruiser? Guess who bought it? My little brother. How's that for a plot twist? Let's see your Overland Kitted says, hmm, how about why the Mandals? That's what these are called, I guess, right? Mandals? <laughs> uh, instead of flip-flops. Uh, I wear flip-flops quite a bit. I just am not wearing them today. I actually prefer these because they stay on my feet better. Flip-flops like flip-flop art right off my foot and it kind of drives me crazy. Hey, we'll see ya. I thought everybody was gone. Uh, somebody else asks, will I ever purchase a Forerunner again? Maybe. I loved my Forerunner. I can tell you this though, I know exactly what I would do the next time around and there's a lot of things I would do differently. Maybe we can save that for a future video. Okay, Big Roach says, how long before you sell the Rammer? Uh, I, you know, I, I've, I've been hot and cold on, on selling it and getting something else. Um, to be honest, I haven't thought about selling it in quite a while. Um, last time I was kind of thinking about that was, um, I don't know, last fall, maybe Bronco time, but you know, when they were announcing the Bronco, I, I, I really, I don't think I'm gonna sell it. I, I think I'm gonna, I have no, I have no immediate desires or intentions to sell it. I, I really like, 
I love it. Like I like driving it, I like looking at it, I like using it, I, I like everything about it. Actually, if there's one thing that I would like to have, it's a flatbed with a flatbed four-wheel camper. I just don't wanna drop 20, 30, 40 grand. I just, I'm just not gonna do it. Uh, this one guy asks, or girl, I guess it could be a girl. What's your opinion of the XL as a short distance daily driver? Um, well, so my pause is that I was gonna say, so I, I drive it daily and I love driving it daily. It drives really, really good. Um, but I, I'm not really doing a short distance. My one way commutes about 25 miles. So I'm driving it 50 miles every day when I come into the office, but I don't come into the office every day, if that makes sense. I love driving it. It's comfortable to drive. The only gripe that I have, it's not really a gripe. It's just that, you know, it doesn't really fit into parking spaces in between cars. It does, and I can. I just usually don't because everybody around you thinks you're a jerk off because it takes up the whole dang space. Uh, I usually just park a little bit further out, which is really not a big deal. Uh, drives great, handles great, uh, it's got a lot of power, feels good, peppy, looks good, handles really good. I mean, you wouldn't think that it's got 40 inch tires. Um, the only other thing though, and, and I've, I've tossed around the idea of getting a commuter and I'm, and I'm, I'm not, I may still do that actually. Um, it takes diesel obviously, and diesel fuel is amongst the most expensive. It used to not be. Um, and it only gets like, I'm doing like 13, 14 miles to the gallon. Um, you know, and then the tires are $400 a tire, uh, you know, and so I'm using tires and I'm using fuel and I got to change the fuel filter every, I don't know, 10 or 20,000 miles. I don't know, whatever it says uh, uh, on the gauge thing. The point is, is that it's a much more expensive car to drive than if I had like a Toyota Camry that got like 40 miles to the gallon or like a Prius hybrid or something like that. Um, you know, the, the cost per mile is gonna be a lot more in this truck. Are you happy with the Ram and AEV setup? And what do you think about the Ford Super Duty and a build like Tiny Home Hauler? Tiny Home, Tiny Home, Tiny Home Toy Hauler. Nice looking truck. And it looks even better now, by the way. So he's got a, a an F-350 or maybe F-450 dually, but he did something on it to where he deleted the dually in the rear. So it's just got two tires in the front and two tires in the back and like extended wide body or something or other. Looks freaking awesome. Um, it just did some new Expedition 1 bumpers, which really took it up a notch. Uh, I like that setup. I think it's a great setup. I don't have any opinions other than that. I mean, I've never driven one. I don't know much about that Ford platform or whatever. I've heard good things about it. Um, Mike, last line of defense, just got a trimmer. I'm sure that's gonna be a, a great build. I, th I think probably the technology might be better in the Fords. I, I'm not really sure. I know the, the fifth gen Ram technology inside, you know, the screen and all that fancy pants stuff. Uh, my buddy Shavas just got uh, out in Vegas. He just got a new power wagon. The technology's cool. Uh, I got a 17, a fourth gen. Last year, the fourth gen, is that? So, mine's a little dated now. I think it just depends on what you want. I mean, honestly, like I walk outside, I look at my truck when I'm walking up to it and I still am in as in, in, in love with as in love with it as I always have been. Um, you know, I really like the way it looks. Um, I feel like it handles well, drives well. Um, I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. Um, and it's just been a great truck. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. That's all I have to say about that. All right, enough of that. You want me to show you the office? Let me show you around. This is my office. So you can see that's where I work every day. And a lot of this stuff was stuff that I had uh, in my office in Utah. So you come out of my office here, and this is our lobby area, I'll show you that in a minute. And then here's our exterior entrance. Go back down and you can see the, the school bus, that's what we call it. And you come around and this is, uh, so okay, so down here, so we've got, uh, marketing, property service coordinators, oh, and then more marketing and owner operations stuff down there. And uh, I think that office is open right now. We got accounting, management, yada, yada, yada. Okay, uh, lobby. So you can see nice and pretty. And uh, let's see here. So, we got a storage room in here. We use this as our inventory warehouse space. Um, everything in here is inventoried. Uh, if anybody needs anything, it's gotta be signed out using, got an internal PO system and all that stuff just so we can track inventory and make sure that these things are charged to owners. If it's charged to owners, some things aren't. Just kinda depends on the scenario. And this is our, our warehouse. So all these shelves are 
just super fill, uh, filled up. They look like like this in the summertime. Right now we're kind of soft. I uh, got actually a bunch of arrivals this week, uh, a lot of arrivals today. Next week, these bags, the shelves will be totally uh, filled up. They pick up their bags, um, I don't know, whatever the day of arrival, a lot of times Saturday, early in the morning, and the bags have all the linen, sheets, towels, all that stuff. Um, not cleaning supplies, but like, um, Bathroom, kitchen amenities, paper towels, toilet paper, soap, shampoos, all that stuff goes out to the property and then they clean the property. And then uh, right now we kind of have like a little bit of a furniture shop thing going on right now. Uh, we've got a lot of owners that um, replace furniture, get new furniture. We sometimes will buy old furniture, sometimes they'll give it to us and we'll repurpose it for other things. And sometimes we'll sell it to other owners or, or sell it on like Facebook marketplace or whatever. And then what we do is we keep, uh, we bank that money for employee events, barbecues, parties, just things to like, boost like employee fun stuff hey patrick you want to be on camera uh, is it difficult <laughs> <laughs> you're on camera right now does it feel difficult uh no unless i have to answer questions Woo answer question is hard. <laughs> <laughs> this is our laundry so we've got hey how big are these washers are they 65 pound washers uh 75 the small ones are the big one maybe 125 pounds okay so around 75 pound washers 125 pound washer and then the dryers are sized appropriately for those size washers. So big old dryer. Those bags up there are pre-packed for certain size configurations. We've got lots of towels, sheets, tags, all kinds of stuff all over the place for organiza organization and all that. Patrick said if you would have known I was coming back here with the camera. Sorry, Patrick, he would have cleaned up a little bit, but um, I look fine. Um, we're working, you know, we got we got crap to do, man. We don't have time to, whoa. What do you say I show you what we've done to the truck since the last time we talked? Got a couple updates, nothing big. So, you can see I added the vinyl again. I really liked the vinyl that I had on it before, so I decided to put it back on there. Ooh, that was a cool one. There we go. So I got it done there, and then I added it to the bottom, and I just think, it just looks really good. It looks good that way. Pretty sure we've not talked about the light force lights that I've got in the front. That's a uh, topic for another day. Are you going to focus? What the heck? There we go. Also, it's kind of a wreck in here, but um, I added a compressor. Also, topic for another day. And check this out. I added a decked drawer system. There goes one of our team members. Kind of have a fleet of RAV4s. I really like them. These are the all-wheel drive versions. 2018 is a pretty good year. Um, I can find them at a pretty good deal if I shop around. And they they just kind of like last forever. So I like them. All right, so check this thing out. So I just installed this this past week and it is my decked drawer system. I've been mulling around in the drawer storage system for the back and I just went ahead and finally did it. Again, that's a video for another day. All right, so uh, that about does it. I um, been thinking about editing and publishing again for a long time, and I'm glad I finally got off my uh, got off my butt and got it done. Oh, uh, one more thing. Well, two more things actually. One, um, I think I told you this earlier. I've got a lot of stories that that I want to share. Um, so. Uh, from the last year trips and stuff like that. So they're gonna be a little bit dated, but fun nonetheless. Two, check this out. Oh man, I'm gonna lay, overlay a picture because this is obviously not gonna look that great. Boop, boop, boop. That is a special truck patch that is coming out. It's dropping today. Like, all right, I think I got my exposure right. <laughs> it's dropping today. So. I don't know if you knew this, um, I haven't really talked about it too much. All of our merch, shirts, hats, patches, all that stuff. Kevin McHouston, you remember Life of Style Overland? I'm sure you guys know him. Uh, him and Keith created a company called Overland Style. And they're handling all of my merch. They've got these new patches. They're dropping them today. So uh, it's a limited use, limited use, limited run. Only 100 of them are being made. 
Um, and I know that I haven't been around for a long time and uh, here I am asking you to go buy stuff, but that's a pretty cool patch. There's only gonna be a hundred of them. I'm sure it'll take a little, little bit of uh, time before they sell, but uh, we're gonna be pushing for the next couple of weeks and then we sell those and we'll make something else that's gonna be pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Good to be back. Anybody wanna be on camera? You're on camera?